Hello everybody and welcome back to Hot Cup of TV. Today I am bringing you some Jurassic World Evolution news because it is exciting news. Uh, following the video I made yesterday about the Fallen Kingdom DLC coming out, um, we have, we have uh, had, uh, well I've got a bit of information, a news article uh, that has uh, the official developers statements in it and uh, they said some things um, that I thought you guys might like to know about the new dinosaurs coming up uh, and indeed a full reveal and confirmation of the exact list of six dinosaurs that we will be getting and it is the exact ones I said in my video yesterday guys, that is the Indoraptor of course, um, the craziest and most lethal dinosaur out of all of them, the Baryonyx, the Carnotaurus, the Allosaurus, uh, all four of those are carnivores, and then the uh, two herbivores, Stiggy Moloch, <laughs> uh, which is an awesome dinosaur, I love Stiggy, and um, the Cynoceratops. So it will be interesting to see all of these dinosaurs, how they behave, uh, and w what it's going to be like with them in our parks, these new dinosaurs. Uh, but the most interesting piece of information uh, came from the article itself. Um, so I've got it up here, so I'll read about a couple of the bits it says. Um, they said it's going to have six dinosaurs. Uh, we've got the Indoraptor, which is a new hybrid. Uh, completely mad, difficult to contain, and it has a complete unique, uh, a completely unique animation set from other dinosaurs, guys. And by the way, if you're wondering what footage is playing, this is um, footage from our series on Jurassic World Evolution, which you can see on our channel if you are interested. Um, but... Yeah, it has a completely unique set of animations, this Indoraptor, uh, from all the other dinosaurs. Um, it's the only one that's a male, um, whereas all, the, all other dinosaurs are female, um, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, I wonder why he decided to say that. Um, I don't know, it's quite interesting. Did you know about that, guys? Uh, was, it, is, was that in the film? I think it might have been uh, mentioned in the film. Then we've got Baryonyx, of course, um, which is... Uh, this was Nick Rogers, I think, from... Frontier Developments, and he said that the Baryonyx was his favourite dinosaur. Um, and there's a few different things. Yeah, they're going to have new animations, brand new dinosaur animations, guys. So that's pretty epic because we we are used to now seeing the same ones over and over again. So it's going to be very refreshing to see the new dino animations for the dinosaurs. I reckon there'll probably be a few more, just one or two, like uh, maybe not one or two, but like five or something like that. But there won't be loads, but they'll just be for the new dinosaur. So that will be awesome. Um, but especially the Indoraptor is going to be getting a whole new set of behaviours and animations especially for that dinosaur. So all these dinosaurs will move in their own unique way and the Indoraptor especially. Um, and also it's going to take a lot to contain this dinosaur. Um, it's going to have a really creepy way of moving. Uh, he says it moves on all fours like a huge raptor dragon. <laughs> so if that's not terrifying, I don't know what is. <laughs> it has a huge long claws um, that it pulls itself along with. Uh, along, it pulls itself along with, and it kind of twitches, <clears throat> which is true. If you've seen the movie, guys, the Indoraptor twitches around uh, quite a lot because it's obviously a genetically modified hybrid dinosaur, and they've pumped all kinds of. Uh, ridiculously crazy chemicals and all kinds of uh, genomes into it to and all kinds of different types of DNA to create a genetically modified bread monster <laughs> so it's really horrible uh, for the dinosaur of course it was one uh, it, it it's one we had to completely do from scratch so they had to do it from scratch um, they didn't really know how much about the way it looked because they hadn't seen the movie yet um, so they got sent footage, Frontier Developments got sent footage of the dinosaur before the movie came out and they've had a chance to create, you know, the animations. So, um, the, uh, which is, uh, it says here also they've tried something new with the animations, which is really cool. Um, and it's not going to be like other dinosaurs. So I thought I'd give you guys that news. Uh, we're going to be getting new animations. We have all six brand new dinosaurs uh, source confirmed, the ones that we expected. Uh, as I said yesterday, guys, in our speculation video, uh, if you are into enjoying these information videos about Jurassic World Evolution and all the new information that will be coming out for the game uh, after this... Um about this DLC and then after this DLC is released for all the future DLCs uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you guys want uh, because I will give you guys the news straight away as soon as it is released straight away uh, right here on Cop Cup of TV and you guys will know every new dinosaur coming to the game and uh, yeah it's just pretty epic really um, so I'm really looking forward to this tell me what you guys think about this patch are you guys interest, uh, excited and interested about the dinosaurs uh, like are you excited for when it comes out and what dinosaur out of these six I want to know what ones are you most interested in because I know some people prefer other dinosaurs they prefer um, than the Indoraptor you know like they prefer the Baryonyx 
I personally think the Baryonyx is uh, my second favorite out of all these dinosaurs, if not my favorite. I actually think the Baryonyx might be my favorite. It's just, I want to see all the new animations from the Indoraptor, you know, and how it behaves. It will also give us a nice balance between carnivores and herbivores, as at the moment we don't have too many carnivores. Um, so that will be pretty sweet. Uh, but if this Indoraptor escapes, guys, you know what this means. It's going to be such a deadly dinosaur. It moves differently to all the other dinosaurs. It'll probably have different attack animations. I think it might be quite quick, like it'll be a very fast dinosaur. I hope, because in the movie it is extremely fast. You've probably seen the trailer where it's chasing um, the girl up the stairs. The poor child, I don't know how it somehow manages to run faster than him, but it is definitely going uh, very fast, like way more than 50 miles an hour. <laughs> if this dinosaur escapes, you do realize you are going to have to put down the mouse, put down the controller, and there's nothing you can do about it, guys. You're gonna have to give up, accept your fate, um, that the Indoraptor has escaped and there's no containing him or you'll have to kiss goodbye to all of your guests and you'll have to go into the kitchen open the fridge door and get out the tastiest the coldest the most delicious beverage that you have or go to the kettle and make an extremely hot one because um, that is going to be the only way that you're going to be able to deal with the stress of this Indoraptor escaping. It is going to be madness and it is going to be carnage, guys. Uh, a little bit like the way these Ceratosaurus escaped in my park and of course ate all my park guests. Very annoying, but um, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and uh, yeah, bringing you the news. I thought you guys might find it interesting. Thank you very much for all of your epic comments and awesome support on this channel. I literally love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. And if you want extra Jurassic World Evolution content from this channel, we will be live streaming probably this week, uh, very soon, coming up in a couple of days or in a day or something like that, as soon as I've got some time and you will be notified if you are subscribed uh, and turn on the bell notifications, feel free to join us on a live stream for Jurassic World Evolution. On Twitch, you'll find the Hot Cup of TV Twitch in the link in the description below. Um, and feel free to come and join us if you guys fancy some more Jurassic World Evolution content from this channel. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep you guys right up to date with the very latest news for Jurassic World Evolution as soon as it comes out. And we will see you guys in the next video.